If you ask, I'll answer. Yeah, wow, that was extremely corny. What's up guys? I want to welcome you to the first of possibly many videos and a new playlist I'll be introducing to my channel called Q&A with A. Perez. It's not exactly original, but it's a new concept that I've considered adding to my channel and it's only been boosted by a comment I got on one of my videos. Now I want to give a special shout out to one of my new followers, Catherine T, wrote this awesome comment in one of my most popular YouTube videos titled Living Like a Tongan, Vavau, Kingdom of Tonga. Just got this awesome comment from Catherine T about how much she appreciated my video. In this comment, she asked me one question. I still have so many questions though, lol. I don't know why I actually say lol. Like, how did you get in touch with your host family in Tonga, seeing that it was your first time in Tonga? I think this would be perfect for another video. Q and A's because as I said, I got many questions and I'm sure my Tongan brothers and sisters do too. So I'm pretty sure many of you have. Going back to September, 2018, I left New Zealand for Tonga. I spent some time in Tonga Tapu and Ewa Island. And from Ewa Island, I came back with Tonga Tapu to plan a trip to the Hapai Island group. What would have been a few days in Ualeva Island turned out to be a week. And I had heard about this, I heard, had heard about this resort, Tayuna's Resort or Tayana's Resort through another backpacker. About three days into my time on Ualeva Island, I met this Australian who had recently come from Tofu Island, which is a volcanic island within the Tongan island chain. What he had shown, the pictures he had showed me on, on this island was unbelievable. But during the time he had spent in this resort, we had gotten more acquainted and talked about our travels. One of the experiences he, he had, he had shared with me, was his time in Vavo. And he had spent some time with this family that you know, basically took him in and showed him around the island and also invited him to every single thing that this family had done. You know, they had roasted a pig and, and you know, they drank kava, they went to church and these were all things I wanted to experience. These are all things that I, I would hope to experience before I left Tonga because I knew Vavau was my last island. I mean, as much as I wanted to go to the New West, which is uh, in the far north, I knew my visa wouldn't allow for that time. So going to Vavau, I, I, I was concerned about how I would spend my time and what I would experience and if I would have the opportunity to meet some Tongans to be hosted by. So I can show my love and care for the culture and hopefully get back something that would allow me to have this open door into the Tongan culture, to be able to learn every step of the way, every second of my time. When I was talking to my, my Australian friend, I asked him if I, can, if I can connect with this family to stay with them, to learn about the Tongan culture. And I, I was very careful with asking. He seemed a little reluctant because he didn't want to just send off a, some traveler to stay with this family to use them. I wanted to be sure that when I was presenting, you know, my, my desire for staying with a Tongan family, that it wasn't for using them. I wasn't gonna get free food or get free rides around the island and say, peace out. That is not in my heart. One thing I learned here in Hawaii, when I first came here, when I first traveled, it has only been a few days, was show aloha, you receive aloha. That remains true throughout the Pacific Island. And every step of the way I went, even in Aotearoa, it applies anywhere. You know, you show care, you show aloha, you show love and respect, and naturally you're bound to get that back. And that is so true about the Pacific Islands. It's amazing. He saw that I had the desire, the strong, burning desire to learn as much as I could about Tonga. I explained my travels in Tonga at the time. I explained my travels in New Zealand and all places I've been and things that I've done and my desires for future travel and the cultural connections I wish to have. And he saw that and he gave me the Facebook of the family that who I'd eventually stay with. I messaged them, I introduced myself in a long text and not very long after, they trusted that his referral to me, his referral was heartfelt. That they were, you know, happy to take me in with them and that when I arrived in Vavau that they would be there for my arrival and take me into their home. When that time came to leave Ualeva, I had my time, I went to uh, Lifuka, spent the night and caught a flight next day to Vavau. I arrived in beautiful Vavau, 
my host Kasimi and his, and his wonderful little son uh, were there to welcome me to the island. I hopped in their van, we drove to Neafu where we had lunch. And after that, we rode off to his village, welcomed me into his home, introduced me to his family, uh, showed me my little place to stay. And uh, what it would end up being my connection to this family and how I had the Tongan experience. There was one question that was very fundamental to my stay and would eventually lead me into the experiences that I had in Vabao. Tonga period. My host, Kasimi, asked me, what would you like, Anthony, when, when you're here? I, without hesitation, I told him, I looked him in his eye, I told him straight up, I want to live like you. I want to live like a Tongan. I want to learn. I want to learn as much as I can about your culture, about your lifestyle. And if you eat dinner, I eat with you. If you go out to do errands, I want to come. I want to help. So he took a second and you know listen to what I had to say and I, I remember he looked down and he nodded and he said okay Anthony okay come and later he would invite me to to his uh, little area in the back of his house with his pigs and his chicken he was cutting coconut giving him water feeding his pigs and I was just watching and I, I tried to help as much as I could he went off to provide for his cows and, you know, away from the village and I went and I watched, helped as much as I could. Uh, when, it, when we drank kava, when it was time to drink kava, I pitched in some money so we can all have kava for ourselves. He uh, had cigarettes every so often. I would give him some money so he can get a pack of cigarettes. He would give some of them to his friends, to some of the people in the village. It was everything I can do to give to this family. They showed so much in return for me to get the full Tongan experience and that is exactly what I had. Now I've received so many awesome just amazing comments on this video of how you know I, I showed true heart and spirit in wanting to learn as much as I could in Tonga and if there's any video that showed my love for culture and my desire to learn about a new culture, this video really defines it. I'm just gonna make note that I, a lot of the videos I post, I try to cover as much as I can, whether it's in one video or several, but some things get unnoticed or missed or some things that I don't incorporate that people have questions about. This playlist is here for that and I'm happy to share. Catherine, I wanna thank you for asking this awesome question. Thank you for the recommendation. For any of you who have questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to do videos like this. It's, uh, it's a better way to connect with my subscribers and my followers. It just, uh, it makes me excited to do this. If you have any questions, if you wanna share your feedback or just say what's up, just comment down below. Thank you for watching guys and until next time.